Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Wheel of Time television show news video. In today's video, we're going to get into all of the juicy news from the last couple weeks. There's some leaks, there's some casting stuff. We're going to get to all of it. Additionally, we're going to talk about what all of that might mean for the show going forward. Now, before diving into the news, I want to reiterate something that I said on my live stream the other day. First of all, Thank you to everybody that subscribed and watched the channel. We just hit 20,000 subs on the channel, and I never thought I'd even get to 1,000. Things are still growing, and I couldn't be more excited for what the future looks like on the channel. I just finished the script on the next battle video. I know a lot of you have been asking for when that next one's going to come, hopefully soon. But I really wanted to let everybody know here that starting this coming Sunday, I'm going to be doing all of my live streams on Twitch. If you are not familiar with Twitch as a platform, it's super easy. Just click the link in the description of the video and follow me there. Just head to twitch.tv forward slash watnabless and click follow so you can be updated when I'm live there. We're going to be doing Wheel of Time trivia. We're going to be talking about the Wheel of Time. I'll have some guests on. We'll have a lot of fun. Should be a good time. Definitely check that out. Anyways, let's throw up a spoiler warning for today's video. The video is going to carry a spoiler rating of red, but only through the Great Hunt plus New Spring. I know that's kind of weird. If you finished the first two books of the series and the New Spring novel, you should be good to watch this video without worrying about spoilers. If you haven't, well, go get to reading and come back and watch this later. So let's get right into the news. Starting off with the most exciting topic that I'm sure all of us are definitely not sick of hearing about right now, and that's of course COVID-19. Now, just like many other places in the world right now, the Czech Republic is seeing a massive spike in the number of COVID cases after seeing it dip really low earlier this summer. Now, if you weren't aware, the majority of the scenes for the Wheel of Time television show on Amazon Prime are being filmed in Prague, or at least in and around Prague, in the Czech Republic. Now, due to the spike in cases, there has been some concern around the second round of filming, which started on October 7th and should finish in mid-December. The show has already been delayed due to the virus, and this spike in cases and the subsequent restrictions that are being put in Czechia may lead you to believe that they're going to have another delay in filming. Well, the good news is, at least so far, that this isn't the case. They've shut down restaurants, schools, public gatherings, but the show must go on. <laughs> Uh, they are requiring masks indoors, and the production team is kind of taking a lot of precautions, including some testing. But they all have been given a waiver from the Czech government to keep filming. Amazon has a number of shows filming in the area, and they're all going to keep filming. So that's good news as long as they'll let it keep going. Now, in terms of what this means for the series going forward, I hope nothing. And honestly, that they're going to stay focused on production, and they're not going to have to shut down again, and things go as planned. Because if they do go as planned, my completely uninformed total guess of an opinion is that we're going to receive a release around early summer of 2021. Now, I know this is optimistic in terms of timing, but I have a couple reasons for thinking that that might be the case. First of all, after the first uh, block of filming, per se, uh, and then before they shut down, they had filmed almost three fourths of the show already. And we know that during the time frame where they were shut down, they finished a good amount of the post-production work. So a lot of the stuff that would normally happen after has already been done. And because there is a massive content drought for a lot of different streaming services, television networks for 2021 because of COVID, Amazon is going to want to push out the show if they've got it ready. And so if the show truly is finished filming mid-December, one would think that they could finish all of the post-production work and get it out early summer if they were really pushing. Now, if that is the case, then we are likely to see a Super Bowl trailer, something that Amazon commonly does with their big budget shows. Now, obviously, if there's a delay to the filming, we're not going to see the show release uh, until probably the end of next year at the earliest. Let's hope they make it through filming and get everything finished up in December. So let's hit on some quick casting stuff before we get into the bigger leaks that have come out. First of all, there's been a casting call put out for a number of times now for small babies between the ages of 8 and 15. Now, this news comes courtesy of Geeky Eerie on WattSeries.com. They have been looking for a baby between the ages of 8 to 13 months that has darker skin and darker hair. Now, there was a previous posting for the same specifications, but it was 10 to 15 months. But for some reason, they want a younger baby now. Now, my guess as to what they need a baby for are, well, it's really just a guess. Um, if they want somebody that's darker, my first guess was that they wanted a baby for Rand, but... If they need a darker skinned baby, that kind of eliminates Rand. And so my guess goes to Swan. Since we already know we're going to have a younger Swan cast, we know we're probably going to get some backstory for Swan. 
it's possible that we're going to see Swan as a baby. Another guess could be one of the random babies that was born around Tarvalin at the end of the Aiel War. That's kind of the impetus for Moraine and Swan to go start looking at all the babies. So maybe this is just a baby for that. I'm curious what you all think. Like, who could the baby be for? Who, who are they casting for? Another piece of casting news is the announcement of three cast members that just finished filming, albeit these are unconfirmed roles. Again, WattSeries.com has reported that Sandra Yee Sanjendever of course, I'm probably horribly butchering that name. I've tried it like 17 times. The outtakes for this would be horrible. Uh, so we're just going to go with that. Thomas Chanying and Amar Chata Patel have finished filming their roles sometime recently. Now, nothing is known about who they're going to be playing in the show, but it does appear that they're going to appear in the final episodes. Now, Sandra is an American, Danish, and Korean actress that starred in a number of Danish productions most notably Backstrom, which is out right now. Thomas Channing is another Danish actor who has television roles on Marco Polo on Netflix and White Dragon on Amazon Prime. And Amar Chadha Patel is an English actor of Indian origin that has starred most recently in The Third Day. Now, I don't know much about any of them or their roles, so it's pretty hard to speculate here, but I could imagine them playing the roles in the, like the Shinaran Palace, for instance. Uh, for example, we could see Sandra playing the role of Alansu, the Shatayan or the housekeeper in Faldara. Again, this is total speculation. Now, if you want more information on the show, one of the best sources that you can find is Geeky Yuri's YouTube channel. She does an amazing job of breaking down the news and doing investigative work. If you have not already checked out her stuff, you need to do that. I have it linked in the description of this video. Make sure to watch her, make sure to follow her, make sure to subscribe and like all our videos. All right, now let's move on to the meat of the video. In the past few weeks, there have been a number of leaked images that have come out about the actual shooting of the Wheel of Time. Now, normally I don't really comment or show leaked photos because I wanna respect the production team. However, in this case, I think that the pictures are being widely circulated enough now that I feel all right talking about them since pretty much everybody's seen them already anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw these up on the screen one at a time and we're gonna talk about what we're looking at. Now the first photos that I wanna look at are the ones that were shared by our friends at Talka Ron Riyadh and reposted on Reddit by Narg the Trollic. Now, although it's not entirely clear what we're looking at here, I would venture a guess to say this is the blight. Those trees look incredibly sickly and are exactly what I might picture the blight looking like. Another thing I notice in these pictures is the level of production and the lighting and the cameras that are being built for like each set. It's remarkable how many different filming locations they're using and how they sort of build these rigs everywhere they go. This is clearly a massive project. And every time I see this stuff, it just gets me more excited. You're gonna see more of that in some of these other pictures. So these next photos are extremely high quality and come from a Czech photographer named Tomas Volgesek. He apparently took these pictures in a, from a public place uh, within the fortress city of Jozovav Fortress outside of Prague. Now, as we mentioned in the last news videos, this is one of the filming locations for the final two episodes. In this first picture, you can see the lighting and production team getting ready for the shoot. Now, I think this is pretty clearly meant to be Faldara for reasons that we'll get into in a second. But towards the bottom of the frame, you can see Yosha Stradowski, the actor playing Rand. Now, as we move on to this next picture, you can see that there's a ton of detail being put into the props and setting. This was clearly meant to be an archery range, as you can see the targets on the far right, and what appear to be Trolloc dummies. So first up, this is incredibly exciting that although those aren't real Trollocs, you can still see horns and the massive size. They tower over this little archery range. Uh, and the fact that you can see these Trolloc dummies makes, makes me sure that this is Faldara. Again, why else would, I mean, what other countries have Trolloc dummies other than the Borderlands? You know that, and of course the flags in the back that indicate Shinar. That's the other giveaway. But moving on to the next picture, we see Yosha up close here and holding what appears to be a bow. Now, it's not a Two Rivers bow. I've seen somebody speculating that. A Two Rivers bow is like a long bow that's like as tall as he is. It's not a Two Rivers bow, so we'll just call it a bow for now. Now, what strikes me here is how much Yosha looks like Rand's descriptions. And what a great job, at least from a physical standpoint, I think he's going to do. Another thing to point out here is that these racks have what at first I thought were pikes sitting on them. But if you look closer, those are actually really large arrows. So I'm wondering if those are like special Trolloc arrows or if those go into a ballista or something like that. The next picture here just shows us some of the filming and lighting apparatus that are showing above the area here. Now they're filming this at night. 
It's just a really cool set, in my opinion. I love the night filming. I love how well lit it is. And it's also funny to think that we're supposed to believe that those little torches are lighting the whole thing. <laughs> so in these next pictures, we're back into the lower area, and we have a few of what appear to be some of the crew setting up the shot where Rand's going to fire arrows at a target. And generally, they're just it looks like they're getting ready to shoot the scene. Kind of cool here. Now, this is the shot of the Trolloc dummy. Again, look how tall it is compared to the crew person standing next to it. I absolutely love that. They're making Trollocs enormous. Or at least the dummies are enormous. So here we go again with a close-up shot of Rand, and this is like perfect Rand in my opinion. I feel like Yosha just nails the look, and the costume design is really simple, but yeah, honestly, it's perfect. Remember, they're just villagers still on the run from the shadow right now. Rand is not who he will become. Now, the last pick we're going to look at is of Yosha as Rand and what appears to be Madeline Madden as Egwene, talking with the director for the episode, Steve Bannon. I mean, Kieran Connolly. <laughs> okay, that was bad. <laughs> now, what I think is of note here is that Egwene is present in Faldara, which puts to bed the rumors that she and Nynaeve might have gone to the White Tower instead of staying with the group. Additionally, Egwene's hair is still braided, something that's a change from the books. And because in the book, she unbraids her hair shortly after re leaving the Two Rivers. Apparently, she's going to keep that Two Rivers look, uh, at least until this scene. Anyways... These pictures have me really, really excited for the show. This is the first time we've seen really high definition shots of costumes and sets. And my God, they look good. Uh, I'm curious how you all feel about these pictures. Do they make you more or less excited about the show? What do you think of my projected release dates? Do you think we're going to see it in the early summer? Do you feel like that's accurate? Do you feel like it's not? Let me know in the comments of the video. Also, for those of you thinking of doing a reread of the books before the show releases, I've started a reread series that goes into deep dives for each chapter of Eye of the World. We're going to go through foreshadowing, Easter eggs, little things you may have missed, talk about the characters, and there's brand new maps that kind of illustrate what they're doing. Right now, we're only a few episodes into it, but you should be able to binge the entire book at some point when it's all out. Just check the playlist for Eye of the World and start watching. There is also companion guides on thegreatblight.com that you can follow as well that give you more information and links to learn more as you go. Great for a reread. Speaking of rereads, you can snag a free audiobook and do your reread via audiobook this time around. Kate Redding and Michael Kramer do a ridiculous job. Just head to audibletrial.com forward slash nablus and get your free audiobook. If you don't already have that, it's legit free. Just go get it. One other thing I will mention is we have some brand new updated t-shirts on the store, guys. Go to shopwheelofTime.com, pick up these brand new Aes Sedai and Ashaman and Chosen, all of these different shirts that you can get. Start picking them up now because when we get to Jordan Con, if we ever get to see each other again, I want to see as many people decked out in these t-shirts as we can. Choose your Aja. If it's Black Aja, you're after my own heart. But if you want to be an Aes Sedai, you can do that. We've got little funny sayings. This is all thanks to Shantanae for designing all of these. Definitely pick those up. Get your t-shirts. Make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel to be updated when I release new Wheel of Time content. That's all I make here. There's tons of old stuff for you to watch too. So if you like Wheel of Time, go binge on my old stuff. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Again, twitch.tv forward slash watnablis to follow my live streams and you might win some cool prizes by watching. You can support me on Patreon if you love what we do here and you want to see more of it. Best way to support us is there and you can get some cool perks at the same time. Guys, thanks for watching and until next time, peace out. Tinker in the kitchen with a job of work to do. Mistress up above, slipping on a robe of blue. She prances down the staircase, a fancy oh so free. Crying, Tinker, oh dear Tinker, won't you mend a pot for me?